going to be strong or if that hero is going to be bad. So, anyway, guy. When it was on Justin T. Exorcism isn't a factor with New getting gone on. Yeah, unfortunately for the team right now, New has not been Hold able to on. go down because he does have that Spirit Siphon and low, he's getting extremely low. They turn that back around. That's the first blood going the way here of LGD. Tian Ming, he's the one that's going to be in trouble or he's going to jump in with a Heavenly Leap. He will get the auto attacks to take down Nu. And PYW, he's the next one on the chopping block. He does have a salve coming out now. There's a high, high, high ground award for Tian Ming to play around. As soon as I heard the Thumbs God's Wrath, my brain turned off because I thought Nu was just dead. The jungle trying to look for some ganks and some fights to go towards. Instead yeah, of just yeah, directly climb. running towards low. Just coming here, looking to A, soak up experience, but B, make sure oh, they're not get, getting the tower. He is up in between a tier 2 and a tier 3 tower. It was PYW TP that went all the way up there to catch out this Sento. He's just trying to cut these waves and stay away from Shiro. He is very, very fast, but now Shiro has very, TP very towards dead. the tier 2 tower, and Shiro is going to be a part of this fight. Get the last hit as well. And the Marcy with a second kill of the game. LGD, they're starting to get a little roll on here, Matt. Mm -hmm. And FYI, he's starting to get rolled on Zeus, have to be able to farm. Especially with Ember's uh, respawn timer being so low, right? Like, you just, yep. you say Ember's just going to be able to come back into his remnant, which is exactly what Setsu does. And now they're going to be able to set up towards his T1 tower again. They do have to relocate once again. Avalanche toss on the chains underneath the T1 tower. Setsu. Yeah, Ming. That Ooh. is a big play once again from the support. So get the second kill there on a Setsu. And LGD with that small bit of snowball starting to happen. That has been stunted now, and it's all about Azure walking around with his four-man death ball. Going to get a lot better for him as soon as he finishes up that Mage Slayer, oh, though. Oh, this is obviously. massive. Oh, yeah. <gasps> the rebound. It's not too far there from Shiro. He's going to try and leave YU Smile oh, now, but they throw Ori all the way into this fight. And with the Phylactery, they get the kill there onto the IO. Bark pops yes, the Stampede, bit. tries to get on top of the Marcy. She gets hit there by the Lightning Bolt, so Ori, oh, they have to be careful. Oh, rebound Oh, I was thinking, yo, oh, is he going to go for it again? But New survives as well, but they weren't able to kill the supports, and this is where some of the lockdown is really starting to lack. Oh, but PYW is the man with the lockdown. They're going to go in directly oh, here on FY. Triple. Massive who stomp coming in from Bark. They eviscerate everybody that came near them, and that's a triple kill for FY. I was like, Just oh, like FY's going to have a slow blink tag at this game. Nah, nope. instantaneous now. He was like halfway towards that blink before that fight. Just uh, up next to the uh, Radiant Tormentor. But really, they've just navigated this so well. There's another attempt going in onto Setsu. He has the Mage Slayer, but it doesn't even matter. That was so fast of a kill on an Ember Spirit. Obviously, they've got a lot of magical burst, um, but with just how quickly they were able to kill that Ember Spirit there, I was, I'm very, very concerned for the remainder of this game. If This is what happens when they just find somebody with a Blink Who Stomp. And once again, it's it's Blink Avalanche Toss, it's, and they've got other problems they need to solve as well. So it's not just like a Terror Blade problem, it's a entire team problem here for, for Azure, especially with the Lightning Hands up now and available. Ori, they're going to go in and want to see if he can get an extra kill. He doesn't even need to be involved. And it is the death of Setsu once again, and... They did that with two supports and an offlaner. Yep. They've been doing everything with the two supports and the offlaner. What did we say about FY and Bark? The lane might not grow great, but they never have a bad game. You know, they, they, yep. it was rocky. It wasn't the perfect game, but they've certainly recovered what was looking like a very, very challenging laning stage. Yeah, it was... Oh, oh, oh. my God. Be over before... Things like that happen. It is 12k ahead. Like, it's not the end of the world um, right now They're for LGD. They're baiting you right now. They're really hard. just wanting them to go in onto him so badly. But they're not taking the bait for now. They go for a smoke. He's only 50 gold short of having that Eternal Shroud on you. I wonder if he's going to regret that as they go for an aggressive move. F oh, PYW, his smoke pops. Oh, FY goes in, gets the avalanche on the two. I think he might be left a little bit on an island. They're going to use the stampede, though. They oh, steal the Alexa. exorcism. So Tian Ming is going to do so much damage in these team fights. If he can stay alive, Shiro goes directly on top of him. They delete the Rubik. And now with the Warrior's Punch up into the air onto Ori. Has to use that Manta Sire. They want to try and fight with this BKB. Low. He's the one that has to be out of the dodge, but he doesn't get away Remember? far enough from LGD, and he will lose his life. And he's not the one with the Aegis, but comes back in. Who Stomp? Double edge. A lot of damage, but not enough to get rid of Setsu. Ori will be able to live back in, and now with the relocate out, yeah, they yeah. leave New on an island, and he is dead. Triple kill now for Ori. And they're going to claim a fourth. 
as yeah. we will eventually see why you small come back into the fight. Oh, mid air death as well. Yeah. So we watch the poor Aztec IO crumble. Yeah, I mean, again, they made pretty much the best initiation they could, right? They take out the Rubik's spell damage coming through as FY finds another pick off onto New. He does have Although the Eternal Shroud now, yeah. so they want to try and go in. Ooh, PYW punches up an illusion. He will get Telekinesis back. They want to try and pull some of these illusions back. They do get the snowball away from PYW, and they take his life as well. This is really not looking good for the side of LGD. This could be all she wrote. Why you smile gets tossed back in. The Iron needs to try and tether it onto Shiro. He gets it onto Noose. They will at least claim the life of FY. He did just overextend, but this was a buyback on PYW. They want to try and get some kills here. Tian Ming is going to turn back around with the snowball, get the save onto himself. He's going to be left on an island, though, so they will leave at least another support for LGD to claim. But again, it's just they're not getting any of these core kills, and that's a big buyback coming out of... If they throw it away, if they take some bad fights, things can start to get uh, pretty dicey, but we were saying a little bit earlier, right, where uh, LGD's draft does not scale anywhere near as well. As, nope. uh, what Azarae's does. So they can play extremely slow if they need to. They can dot their I's, cross their T's, whatever mm -hmm. other... And over Lo is actually joining them now as well. So this is a big difference. He basically has not entered the LGD side of the map for this entire game. So the fact that he's willing to put himself out there, FY almost acting a little bit as bait. And, well, there we go. We find a start onto new. Probably not the ideal target for themselves, although they'll be happy to take it. Oh, the toss Ooh. back is on the Terrorblade Illusion, but they want to see if they can be as low committal as possible to try and take down New here. Low, he's the one that's getting jumped on. BKB being popped by Shira. Save with the Unleashed. They want to try and run away with the Stampede. So they do get it. Dispose has been stolen, and they will just Sunder out onto Tian Ming. So, Low, he's back and ready to fight. Ooh, Faith Beyond was going in the back. Bark. Really want to try and get these kills, and while you smile, he relocated a little bit earlier, so he gets caught. They do find out Shiro on the backside as well, and FY, he's just going to get the solo kill. Oh, FY, what a good fight. What a good catch. As soon as he turned off the armlet, FY was on top of his dome, and they've taken two big heroes now against LGD, and with a little bit left on this uh, Metamorphosis, they want to try and get these tier 3 towers. Mm -hmm. At least force out the glyph, I think, is the main thing that they can... And it's so hard to try and initiate around these tree lines as well because your smoke's going to break and you're going to have no vision. They find Bark, though, and they found Low. So now they want to try and fight out this Terror Blade. That's a lot of damage that goes there towards PYW. Keep in mind, they're going to have the buyback for a little bit longer as well. The relocate's going to go up into the high ground. This is probably not where Shiro wants to be. Beautiful avalanche toss combination, and Shiro goes down. They've lost PYW as well. LGD, they are breaking apart at the seams, and unfortunately, they're just not able to hold in this Azure Ray team as they are just constantly going through them with the Force Us, with the damage another who stomp another kill for bark as well and they will limp away with setsu and why you smile but that's roche gone it's probably going to be a full lane as well i mean four staff gaming just makes you want to tear your hair out honestly yeah. <laughs> like there was four ori has enough to be able to buy his own full hurricane pike as well if he wants this is the sort of period though that i'm not sure if he wants to be without buyback just because it's probably going to be tb so we'll see when those items are going to appear they're getting close to some of them, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Blink Dagger up on new. Yeah. Still Shiro halfway to Ags, but... Just short. Setsu goes in. Avalanche tossed. They've got the Hoof Stomp as well. Good They've jump. just taken down the Ember Spirit. He's got no buyback, so Setsu will not be in this fight anymore. Shiro goes in the back line and eviscerates some so illusions. Well. It is too hard for LGD to play this video game. And I think they might just call it here, Matt, and we will be going towards a game number two with Azure Ray looking head and shoulders above LGD in a lot of this execution. There was a bit of an interesting draft that comes in from LGD, but at least Azure will then finally able to claim it and finish it off. It felt like they had an idea with their draft in terms of like, you know, we want to have this big hero that we group around frequently and we push towers, but when the Lashrak was... Fight, maybe a little bit more. It's pushback, right? Like, you don't necessarily... DYW... Oh, Shiro, they, they got the kill on the bottom side of the map to on Bark. It was FY doing the uh, Ponlo special, walking behind the tier 2 towers to kill those couriers. Um, but they do punish Bark for that. So it is looking like now that uh, LGD oh, put look themselves... Look at this. Right. He tried to do the, the play that uh, that Y was doing in game number one, where you tether to the creep to get the aggro. Yep. 
It's a lot of gold that he's farming up now, though. Oh, yeah. And just solo experience as well. It means PYW can rotate. It means you can get these cheeky courier snipes. It means you can get up some really deep vision as well. So potentially start to go for some ganks. Went for a really deep dive there to try and take out FY, but it didn't seem like Shira was on the same page. Yeah, he got to be underneath the tower as well. It's always spooky. FY, though, he's the one that's going to pay the price. The toss up in the air. They haven't killed him just yet. And PYW, okay. He's not going to lose his life. He's going to lose a lot of HP for it, though. I've been very impressed now. Potentially. They are still kind of just hovering around. A few more of these Shadow Strikes are going through. They're going to throw out the Sonic Wave. Does a lot of damage there on the Tian Ming. Same with the Snowball. And they get the kill onto the Io. Toss underneath the tower, though. PYW is going to cop a few more of these auto attacks. They will glimpse all the way back there on FY. Not all too much damage, but Setsu with the Shadow Strike is going to do more than enough to take down the Tiny. He needs to de-aggro the tower. He gets it. Oh, that was spicy. And they're going to continue to fight over this T1 mid. Yeah, I mean, luckily for Azure Ray, probably the best hero to quickly play, but uh, we had Y. Just in the area. Minding Ori. Haste Rune as well. They've got the Io here as well with no. Okay, they do have the Sonic Wave. It's a lot of damage there on Ori, and eventually they have enough to take him down. And the Haste Rune on Setsu arena. means it's hard for Bark to try and line up a spear. They want to try and get this kill here on Tian Ming. Are you going to blink Setsu? No, he runs into the spear. He gets caught out by the arena, and the avalanche is there too. Bark with the Saber Light Spear. You love to see that. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of extra damage coming through from the Tier 2 Tower as well. It's only eight and a half minutes in. You are still going to get shredded by... Yeah, they're going to see if they're able to uh, get the kill here onto the Gyrocopter. It's pretty tanky. He's got a lot of stats, but they've made the rotation here. Avalanche, Toss, combination here with the cooldown as well. There's a lot of damage there to PYW. He gets inside of the Snowball, though. Wants to turn around and fight. They have brought up Shiro here to the top side of the map. Flat Cannon's not really doing all too much here. On the Gyrocopter, he's oh so low. They haven't been able to find him. They keep him alive with Chan Ming. Five. And now Nu, he will, he's the one that's walking in. They've been able to at least turn him around. He gets away from the Illuminate, but it's going to be enough damage. Not just yet, though. Another Soul will buy him to be able to keep the Bristle back at bay, and they eventually will kill him off. I'm surprised there by Setsu. He had a good lineup for the Sonic Wave, and he didn't take it. Gyro was very low. I think, you, you, for whatever reason, people just forget that they're playing against a Disruptor. Sorry, I'm looking at PYW, who's about to get gone on. Yep, he's dead. You can continue and, your point now, sir. Yeah, uh, and it also always just means that, like, you take away a big strength of the draft in, like, the Io, right? You use a relocate in or use a, use a TP in, as they're going to try and yoink away this uh, Wisdom Rune, and they should be successful, actually. All right, nicely done. Yeah, they're going to have the time here. Low is like, you relocated me for that. They found new. They are behind a T1 tower. Low, you need to be very careful about what you are doing right now. Who's the one that needs to be careful, though? Ooh, the Sonic Wave completely Wait. misses, but Tian Ming is directly in front of New. They're going to get their glimpse back here on the low. Do they have stuns? They don't need them, baby. Oh, amp damage. They have so Sorry, much yeah. damage. And, yeah, that was... I can understand it because they didn't want to move forward underneath any potential wards. It was uh, actually Bark that ended up placing that one up on the high ground just because he's so much tankier than both of these... Uh, both of these other Azure Ray supports. They're actually making a move of their own here. New wants to yoink away Ooh. some of those stacks that they've built up, and they even get a glimpse back as well. Are they going to be able to find the pickoff onto Tian Ming? Looks like they will. Yep. They got the kill on the PYW. They got the kill. I mean, they got the kill on the FI, not PYW. I, I was PYW watching him punch people in the air, and I was thinking mm -hmm. about PYW. Oh, yeah. It is very much looking like a uh, a good start here for LGD, and it's another start once again for New to be able to get the kill on the FI, who is just trying his best to clear out some of these creep waves. Oh, oh they found an eye as well. He does have the tether to get all the way back on towards low, but now they're trying to get directly on top of the gyrocopter. Look at the burst damage that comes in there from New. It is all about the spikes. And as oh, soon as he turns his back with the bristle back, it is too hard for them to play around with. Ori's been found out. The glimpse back in towards the static storm kinetic field combo, and oh. this might be a call it go next kind of angle here, Matt. This is this is looking rough. Mhm. Mm it just feels like they don't have the ability to do anything, right? They're they're lacking in damage. Uh, I walk up there. I put the thunder strike on the ground for, at 40 seconds, and who've they found here? Well, they found the disruptor for the first time this game. 
Because they even kill it. Drop everything. Okay. Uh, they're just going to try and slow things down a little bit. They know they're coming though because of this ward. Will this relative lack of control be their undoing though? They haven't used the arena Ooh. just yet. Look at the damage, and now with the arena having to go up, they're going to have to use the cooldown as well. They want to try and get the kill here on Anu. He pops the BKB though. It's going to be a buyback here from FY. They want to see if they can try and find any more of these heroes. They're looking to try and take down Shiro. Yule's up in the air once again here from Bark. They have to speed. Oh, beautiful punch from PYW. He's going to save his Weaver for a bit longer, but it's not going to be enough. Sonic Wave in the background there from yeah. Setsu. He'll connect onto the IO. Oh, He's going to relocate directly back into this fight. Or is extremely low, low, standing in, trying to fight. Win the fight, he does. Eventually, he goes down to the Shadow Strike from Setsu, and they will eventually blink into the background of Azure Ray once again. And not only has it been buybacks, it's been diebacks from the supports of Azure Ray. Bark, this will not be a dieback, but unfortunately, it's going to be a slow and agonizing death. It's the blink. Oh, okay. PYW. That little bit of extra movement speed coming from the Yules, helping him out that time. Able to get away before he was able to land another. You can see that they're going, like, somewhat set up spells, uh, sorry, set up items like the Yule Scepter that also provide them with a layer of survivability. So let's say you get, like, um, Blink, Ava, Toss, back someone inside the base. You're not just giving up your life immediately. You're putting yourself up in the air for two and a half seconds and, you know, maybe forcing attention away from you. Same sort of thing with the Mars, right? Yeah. Exactly. Might be uh, a little bit of danger. Oh. Good God, the Daedalus really, really pumping in a lot of that damage there with the Grove Boat. Did he just get like three crits in a row? Yeah. That was disgusting. Made sure he was facing his time to go BKB. Like, you've got all of your items. You've got the massive damage output advantage. And, I mean, Setsu's got it. You've got uh, New with it. It might end up saving him as well. And he turns and fights. Puts a lot of damage in there onto Bark. Eventually the arena will come up, but it doesn't matter. Look at the damage from Shiro. He's going to stand and fight. He goes to sleep. He has to time lapse back, though. They're going to try and put their attention onto the IO. They get rid of the Wisp nice and fast. Low. BKB wearing out. Do they have the stuns? They do. It's the Yule Scepter. They've called out the Gyrocopter, the TP away from Ori, but they've lost too much already. That felt like it was a little bit of a Hail Mary coming in there from Azure Ray. And it right, really did not work tower. out. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> They've taken a tier one tower. Mission accomplished. They he did it, guys. Trying. He wants to get an Avatar's combo onto this wave just to try and slow it down a little bit if he can. Doesn't even get... I was about to say he should be able to TP away, but I think he wants to get greedy. I think he wants another one. This is the sort of stuff that you're happy giving up your life for, and that's why while you smile, he's the one that's going to be looking to try and scout him out. Realizes that he can't die. There's the Gosma Cape coming into the equation making sure that he doesn't get crit down there. And yeah, PYW should be enough to be able to confirm this kill. Yep. They've got the shard as well, so it's just a little bit of extra damage to take down FY. And they it deal with the pesky little Tani. Oh, Tianming. He's trying to live. He did get the Wisdom Rune, and he did force out a Sonic Wave. So again, supports are delaying the game somewhat, right? You force... Yeah. I think that's probably the the final couple of items you could probably look towards uh to new to get that one pow catches out bark oh man that's Free on the BKB bottom side as well from low yeah. they were just running inside the base and they feel the freedom to do that and, you know as soon as mars is dead you're really not worried about all that much of course fy still is a concern but definitely is the mars that is the main one that you're worrying about Yep, they don't really have a good way to initiate this, and, and this is the problem with these IO lineups. They haven't been able to get that fast tempo going, and now they're going to throw new in towards these tier 4 towers. But look at the damage. That's probably not the hero that you want to try and go for there, Mr. Good FY. Fight. And he has just eviscerated everybody on Azure Ray, and they're going to call it. We're going to a game 3 here, man. We're expecting our upper bracket to be a bit of a spicy one, and they have provided the good so far. Azure Ray, probably an outdraft. It's been handled, like... Mm. Really handled. 30 minutes basically on the dot that LGD were able to take that dub. And we're going to play it. Um, you know, the FY's Lion before that's actually a fact. Preview to. Mm -hmm. FY did have the, the wand into the hex available if they were really wanting to, to go for that kill, but yeah, without the hoof, although we see it now. Oh, it goes directly here onto Shiro, and they've done enough damage to take him down. Oh, they get the courier as well. Just Oof. a little bit of bonus damage on top of everything else. So you're more than happy to give up uh, a small camp pull for that sort of thing. Probably will be able to even get... Certainly could have been much more favorable for them. 
Uh, top lane looks like where a lot of the action is happening, though. Shiro going for a bit of a play onto FY. Might be why you smile that ends up copping it, though. Yep. A hoof stomp, double-edged, auto-attacks. It's all too much. FY is just playing the range beautifully, and that is three kills now for Bark in this offlane. He had an absolute disaster of game one and game number two, and now he's really coming back. Um, he's one of those offlaners that is so scary to have such an early start because I feel like he doesn't really They're make going. mistakes and they've come up top and they've made Shiro act a fool in this. Wouldn't be surprised to see Tianming stay up on this top side. You're not exactly scared of playing this bottom side as low against Shiro? you, but Ooh. it's hold on just on this bottom side. It's not just low down here. There's three heroes coming through. No infest just yet and they should be able to pick him off. Yeah, there was a, a fight towards the top side as well. Um, at that exact same time. So, Low will lose his life. PYW will be the trade for Ori. Um, and Shiro spent a lot of time and a lot of effort getting rid of Tianming in that top lane. Popping the exorcism for just a tusk, though. That really doesn't feel good. I mean, the fact... Very, very, very strong hero. Oh, white. He's been caught. Body blocks coming out here from the Chen creeps. Not going to be enough, though. Yeah, PYW being able to, to walk through there with the snowball. FY is the one that's going to go down. Bark wants to try and see if he can get a trade here. A bit more of this micro coming in from Tian Ming. But the damage is turning back here onto Ori's Bark. In. But Ori's come all the way to the top side of the map. Does not have the exorcism, but does a lot of damage to these heroes. They will lose out on Bark and Ori in kind of no man's land right now. Setsu has made his way over here as well. Ori. Four levels in the Spirit Siphon, so he's going to be very, very tanky and hard to deal with. So you do want to try and keep chasing him up here. Beautiful shards there from PYW as well, keeping oh, Ori in an awkward spot. But now the supports have made their rotations here from Azure Ray as well. PYW, they're going to go in. Setsu's stuck inside here, has blinked away towards that middle lane, and they will just give up PYW to Ori. That was a bit of Hill music. Yeah. <laughs> He has armlet ready as well as all of corrosion, so he's de he's definitely able to fight. Lands of pursuit too. And they have a finger as well. Well, unfortunately for New, he's gonna cop what the kids say, the finger. Mm-hmm. And Cops that's the first stack for FY. Oh the glimpse. Uh, Let me, maybe I'm just dumb. I'm not oh, death. Look at this play. backstab. Oh? It's a wrap. Ori, he's still here. He's got 30 seconds left on this Aegis. Has popped the uh, Exorcism, though. So now, with this Aegis being committed, they will not have the Exorcism to try and get this fight going. Beautiful Solar Guardian catches out two of the uh, the cores from the side of Azure Ray, and Ori just gets deleted by Shiro, who's standing and trying to fight up against Lo, who is now just being a mad murder machine, and they are just tearing through the remaining members of LGD. And Ori, that's why you give him the Aegis. He gets so much space for Lo to just go in there and go to town. Out. He did indeed just dealing, what, 6k damage on that? Heavily, of course, influenced by the Chen. Dropped two Penitences, just buffing up so much of that attack speed. An additional, what, 80 attack speed for both him and all the creeps. Buffed up by the Drum of Endurance as well. An additional 45. Like, this is the sort of stuff that you're happy to deal with. <laughs> well, they know exactly where they're fighting. In the smoke here. Coming through that penitence just buffs up the attack speed by so much, though. Only one use of the drums left, so really wanting to hold it is Qian Ming for this fight that's eventuating. Yep. They yeah, have not been able pick? to commit just yet. Oh, now with out. the Aegis going down, LGD, they're going to try and commit. Bark's gone up onto the high ground. BKB is being popped to plenty. Beautiful Earth Black, though. PYW getting absolutely eviscerated. BKB being popped there lately by Shiro. Doesn't have a TP, so he's just going to slowly walk away from Azure Ray, but unfortunately for him, his time is up. It's a little bit too slow. That's just a crap ton of damage that they had coming through, and again, the power of the drums just allowing them to be chased down. He's out of charges, though, so you won't have that tool anymore. <clears throat> I've noticed for a while that he's been going that solar crest. He already has the Guardian Greaves, but I wonder if Boots of Bearing is possibly an option for them. Uh, yep. I, well, I, like logo and the, like, I like Logo and the BKB as well. You're still a while away from Aghanim Scepter. There we go. Breaks the static link. Okay, so it does break it. Very nice. BKB's out in the back line. They go directly in on top of FY. He's so healthy, though. They've eventually been able to deal with him. No Hand of God. 
Still on cooldown for a little bit longer here. They do have a buyback out of PYW. Ori, he's on it's getting low. Has to pop the cheese. Turns back around. They want to try and get this fight going. Big silence comes out there from the Death Prophet. But Setsu doing beautiful work. Just trying to duck in and out of a lot of these fights as well. They go inside of the Razor. He's still linked. Oh, so it doesn't break out. it. He will TP away almost into the fountain, but low, smart enough to get out of dodge and will get out of the Razor and go directly in onto Nu. He does so little damage because all of it yeah. is drained by the Razor. Oh, gets it back in a couple of seconds, though, and that Rax is just going to be once again under siege. So much hatred for FY. They see how important he is to this lineup as, yeah, there we go. They end up getting the pick, but well, might mean that low is ooh, in a risky spot. Uh, oof. Get a kill on Setsu. Yeah. Man, that happened. He was so deep. I guess it just becomes even easier once you've got that BKB on low. Only a couple of hundred gold away from it. Should be able to get it from these towers. No quap to have to deal with. Oh my Quick. god. I really like that when you just see teams just go in and start a fight before anybody respawns. You know, why probably really did not expect that, that at all. Yeah. One of the advantages of the Aghanim Shard, right? You can put a little bit of pressure on without being, you know, just needed these items. They didn't respect the solid death ball potential that they had on Azure. Yep. And they are being punished heavily for it. Yeah, being punished, seeing if they can try and deal with the Chen, but I don't think if uh, Game 3 is really the time for LGD to experiment by trying to take down a hero like the Chen. Wasn't all just the Chen, but does enable quite a lot here. So now it's Lhasa Ra coming in from LGD. A lot of damage being stolen Push up against out. Ori. He's still so happy and healthy, though. They haven't been able to deal with him just yet. The damage that turns back around onto the Razor is the scary part. Beautiful who stop once again here from Bark going directly onto Nu. They've taken down two of these cores. One of them doesn't have buyback in the now Dawn the Breaker. And now they're looking towards Setsu. Haven't been able to take down the Queen of Pain. Finger of Death in the background takes down PYW. Oh, no, Shiro. How did you end up here, son? And that's probably the question that he's going to be asking himself for the rest of the day because LGD will call GG. And Azure Ray move forward into the grand finals. And they will await the last remaining teams to come say hi to them before they potentially get themselves a qualification of the PGL. Wallachia League a little bit later on. Wallachia. Wallachia. <laughs> All right.